Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Ghana's business community is calling for a relook at the import-led trading culture of the country. Even though figures from the Bank of Ghana show that Ghana's total export increased from $10.61 billion in 2016 to $14.86 billion in 2018, the country's import estimates spiked from $11.36 billion to $13.9 billion in 2018. But with COVID-19 restricting the exports of goods to China, India, and other economies, Chief Executive Officer of Stambeck Bank, al Hassan Andani, insists a new policy must be initiated to reduce imports. Ghana's economy has suffered a hit by the scourge of the coronavirus pandemic. Manufacturing and industry continues to reel in losses. Raw materials for the manufacture of goods in Ghana remain stuck in countries like China, U.S. and U.K., which have recorded high death and infection rates. But even as government sets aside some support systems as the one billion city stimulus package for industries, Chief Executive Officer of Stamic Bank, Al Hassan and Dani, says the challenges posed by COVID-19 should engineer a new policy that will reduce Ghana's reliance on imports, particularly from China. Most of our import trade that was coming from Asia, China, have had to suffer significant setbacks because the, 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 the global supply chains all emanate. So what kind of alternatives will be available? And, and with this is a conversation we will want to pick up uh, with the uh, National Chamber for Commerce uh, and Industry uh, and other industry players to see how we can diversify our economy away from uh, a huge reliance on, on China and, and Asia uh, generally. Uh, we also want to go into not just always direct uh, funding, which is quite expensive. We need clearly for our clients to work with us to understand what is the model of businesses that they want to run. Already, the Minister of Finance, Ken Oforiata, has stated that a fight against the novel coronavirus could cost Ghana about 9.5 billion cities, pushing the country's budget deficit to about 6.5%.